My name is Chris Gopalakrishnan. I have the good fortune of uh, chairing the Business Action for Sustainable Development, your host for the Business Day session today. So it's a privilege for me to welcome you all for this luncheon and for today's discussions. About 800 delegates are participating in today's deliberations. And I'm thankful to each one of those delegates, each one of you, for contributing to the discussion. In the morning, you had uh, discussions sector by sector. And in the afternoon, we will have discussions across sectors, cross-sectoral discussions. And in the evening, we will summarize these discussions in a, in, a, in a meaningful way. And we get to present this as one of the nine major groups in the UN deliberations. I'm told that this is the first time uh, UN is recognizing nine major groups and allowing us to present. Business has an integral role to play in creating a sustainable world, creating an equitable world. Business has been doing a lot. Many of you are here because you are committed and you're doing a lot. But we still need to scale up, and that's the theme, you know, at the highest level, that's the theme for the business day. We need to scale up. We need to get every business committed to what you are doing, what we have been able to achieve, how can we take these best practices and make them industry standards, make every business subscribe to these standards. And that's what the discussions are all about. And that's a commitment we're making. During the discussions, uh, clearly a sense of urgency is coming up as a team, business, at least the delegates who are here, want ambitious targets, want progress in the discussions, and business wants to partner with other major groups. We have three special guests who will share their perspectives on the Rio Plus 20, the discussions that we are having today. First, I have the distinct honor to introduce a world leader who is truly committed to sustainable development and a very good friend of um, BASD, WBCST, and many other organizations that are here today. Let me welcome His Sovereign Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco and request him to share his thoughts on this occasion. Thank you. 